Yo, what's going on guys? It's Lucid and I'm back with an ability words video. So this is gonna be some new content I'm gonna be making. I normally I haven't posted an ability words video at all on this channel, but I'm going to start now because I find the game much more fun now and yeah. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is I'm gonna be showing you guys five engineer builds that are pretty simple yet very fun to do. So first off, let's run Engineer. Alright, number one. So we go to the mushroom. Oh, okay. Let's go to a mushroom. And this one's a really quick build. Oh, someone's building already here. <laughs> but it takes like five seconds, probably even ten. So you place that there. There's a TP. You make sure the pad is facing this direction. Place it right there. Place one on the edge. And then go to the other side. Place that on the edge. And then just place one on the back. This one can bug out. Like, if someone goes in it or a couple people go in it, it completely ruins the build. You have to restart again. But, I mean, it's nothing to get too worried about. You can always rebuild it. But, just place it right there. Or, this guy's gonna go. Okay, well, it rarely does that, but it would normally just fling them off. It's really funny. Like this guy. Let me go get someone. Oh, you're not getting me. Let's get this guy right here. Oh, no, he's gonna get it. Oh, boy. Boom. See? Flings them. It looks so funny, bro. Oh, that's funny. Uh, it's a, a great one to troll with. It's pretty fun. But anyways, moving on to number two. Alright, number two. You can go to uh, the corner of a map, and this one's pretty funny. You can go to the corner, you can go to the wall, it doesn't really matter. So you place a little tree there. You go a little bit on the edge. Yeah, like that. Place two walls. Place a TP and place that. And this one is pretty simple. This one can basically almost never break unless someone purposely breaks it. Ah, I missed. And he just falls off. It's so fun. I want to get one more. You don't really need the little thing right there. That doesn't really do much, but it's just for design, I guess. Get that guy. Oh boy. Almost got myself there. Got that guy. Oh, we're on a screen right now. Ah, frick, I missed. Let's get this god punch. We gotta get god punches out. Oh. Got him. Ah, I got him, bro. Oh, that's great. Well, that's a fun way to do it, but, yeah. Oh, let's move on to number three. All right, number three. So let's go to a tree or a high wall, like the back of the, what's it called? The river or pond, whatever. And, or top of a tree, so no one can hit it, of course. Place a tree on a tree or the wall and Place three walls. Place a the little beacon or power thing, whatever you want to call it. Place a floor. Place a pad. I can put a pad right there. And just go up real quick with your blooms. And make sure it's pointing downwards. To do that, just go on a little wall and rotate. And this is a super simple build. They kind of fall down and it kind of breaks their character, so they sit there and get like a whole hit down. It's really good. If I can get some of this thing more. I'll just try to get some. Okay, well, it kind of works like that. Yeah, 
see? They get hit like two, three times. It works like almost all the time. It's just sometimes bugs out because of lag and stuff, but it's still an overall pretty funny build. Got him. This one isn't really that crazy of a build. It's just like a little annoying thing for them to deal with like that. It's, it's still fun at the end of the day. Alright, next one. So, for number four, let's get started. So, it's basically a sky base. This one's pretty simple. Again, once again. <laughs> All of these are really simple. Yeah, super fun. So, get a chair. If you don't know how to do sky base, I got you. Place a stair. You won't fall down all the time. So yeah. Place three balloons on the back. Float up. Get your tree out. Place it on the back of your seat. And if you're flo flying away, quickly spam balloons. Jump out and land on it. There you go. Make sure to do this near like the void so this is easier because it's the whole point. But put that and then get a teleport pad and then it doesn't matter how many blocks away, just don't put it super close like this. But put it like at least three blo three blocks away. I keep calling it blocks because so plain simple. Make sure to do the step right because you don't want people like uh, getting off and breaking your whole thing. It's really aggravating and yeah. So you can put this there and planks like that. Put your two fans. And there you go. And then place your dispenser so that it faces this. So whenever, the reason why you do actually put a fruit dispenser instead of just fans is because you actually can hit them once before they die. So you get an extra punch and over, on, over time it stacks up a lot, so it's worth. Make sure to put this there too. Although if you don't have engineer mastery, it's completely fine, you don't need it. But next, uh, if you wanna secure your place so hard so no one can get it, get onto it so what you can do is place pads right here and then you're gonna have to do this really quick you're gonna have to jump right here jump and push so you don't fall off or right, click and yeah and from that on just go find people you you can either just place it there in the middle Path, over pad, or you can do what I'm gonna do and just grab people like that. And as you see, that they fell off. Pretty good. It's hella funny. Uh, let's get this guy. Let's move on to our last one. All right, number five. This one's the funnest one in my opinion, but it's a little harder to build than the other one. It just has a little more to it. But we're going to build a car. It's it's a very good car. It's kind of hard to get knocked off or like balloon spammed into um, the air. But basically, you're gonna build a cross or and then just two right there. And then you're gonna place. No. Oh, he gone. Okay. All right. So you're gonna place. Oopsie. You're gonna place some wheels all across in the same exact spot. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do 
some of these. Alright, after that, you're gonna get onto it. Man, almost fell off. Or got hit by those. You're gonna put that, and then you're gonna put piston with the plank. Make sure no one's coming to me. And then put a wall in front of you. Show you why. Onto it. on it. I know you're gonna think, oh, maybe harder to control, but honestly, it's not that big of a difference. And it's so your thing can not, like, jiggle off and, like, just tip over. As you can see already, this is already working magically. It's super fun. You can do so much damage. Ah, oh, frick, guys. Dude, I should have not fell for that. I almost went onto it myself. Oops. No way, bro, fell for that. That's wild. Get some more. Ah. Uh, oh well. Let's try to get back on it. Oh, what? What? Who was controlling it? Um, game? Yo, what was that, bro? They started, they started driving on its own. Bro. Yo. Eleven. The master engineer, bro. By the way, the more balloons you put, the more drifty your car is going to be. And a little hard to control, just because of how much balloons there is. But, as you can tell, this is honestly super fun. I really recommend using this build. It's probably the best one, but it's also a really good one. You don't even need the um, things at the bottom. You can just use this without engineer mastery and still succeed really well so if you really want to also you can use this for mastery try getting it it's really effective and yeah oh i got out of it well i'm gonna conclude this video i just want to say thank you for sticking around to the end of the video and i really hope you guys enjoyed this I really hope I at least entertain you guys, or even if you're going to use these builds yourself, I'm glad. You guys have a good one, and remember, stay lucid. I'm out.